Oh my god! Or somebody had a glass eye. I'd be so tight. I'd be so jealous. <laughs> like while they weren't looking, I'd put like an all white one in, and then the guy would be like, "Oh my god, he's fucking putting in that work," you know? <laughs> one of my eyes went in the back of my head when in reality it's just a glass eye. <laughs> and that's why they called the shit show. Where are Isn't we? How are we talking about fucking getting fucked by guys? Glass eyes. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another awesome episode of The Shit Show. Brought to you by Shag Mag. Shag Mag is a digital magazine featuring the hottest women in the industry, 100% uncensored. 100% of the time. That's right. And to my right, I have Miss Becca. Becca. And to my left, can you up that? Uh, Becca (laughs) 2.0. I don't Uh, think we need another Becca on the show. Really? No, absolutely (laughs) not. (laughs) I feel like if you're trying to get after it, yeah. If it's like 4 a.m. on like a Friday night, yeah. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah that would be a crazy show. It would definitely have like no, no path. No path. No, path. no one to rein it in. <laughs> That's all good. It would just be Becca laughing back and forth at her own jokes. That's great. It would sound like <laughs> just like a standing ovation all given times. You're like, I'm the funniest person like, in the oh world. Oh my God, Becca. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's your real name, not your stripper name? My real name is Trevor Wallace, Mm -hmm. uh, which is so far from a stripper name. I feel like Trevor is just the least sexy name in the dictionary. What would your stripper name be? Uh, To the window, to the Wallace. Ooh, I like that. You definitely make that up. I did. (laughs) I usually think about my stripper name a lot, just like, you know, in the car. I was like, what if she asked me what my stripper name is going to (laughs) be? What would your stripper name be? I don't know. She's like, Um, Becca. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, I'm like, you guys don't even know my real name. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Is it oh, Rebecca? Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> the biggest plot twist. <laughs> what would your stripper name be? I feel like something like Caramel. I like it. Yeah. yeah do you say Caramel or Caramel? Caramel. Okay, good. What do you say? I say Caramel because I'm, you know, normal and have brains. Who so. says Caramel? There's people you out there. Caramel? There's people out there. Same people that say Solomon. You say Caramel. I say, people what make fun of me. Caramel? I say cement. Or I say sim- cement. Why are you talking so much about cement? <laughs> well, oh that's what people God. make fun of me for saying. Instead of cement, it's cement. cement. My cement. friend says rum instead of room. Wait. Oh, I rum. thought you were talking about alcohol. No, oh, so wait, can you show me I'm to the bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up. You say that. <laughs> that's a lot. Out are they okay. British? No. This, uh, is, why, okay, this is why we can't have two Beckas, because this is what happens. Sorry. We get completely sidetracked. I'll sit okay. in my corner. Yeah. yeah. No. Give us a little bit of background. Some people might be listening. Our guys are listening right now. Want to know the cliff notes. Give us the details. Of me? Yeah. Spill uh, everything. So I've been doing, uh, What's your social? So I've been doing porn for about six <laughs> years now. Um, no, I just, uh, I'm an actor, comedian, stand-up, YouTube, all that fucking LA shit, you know, just the Instagram bio with like 40 different occupations on it. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been doing stand-up comedy since I was like 17. I'm 27 now. Wow, so, so like 10 years. Yeah, I took a little bit off in college because I joined a frat and I don't really give a shit about like doing anything but like doing keg stands and like <laughs> there you go. drugs, yeah. you know? So I, hit the, <laughs> so I hit the frat scene hard for a couple of years and then I got back into it in like 2014 and then uh, just been making videos for like the last five years. Nice. So. What college did you go to? It's a real boring one up in the Bay Area, San Jose State University. Really? What frat were you in? Delta Upsilon. I don't know. I don't know. Delta Upsilon. That sounds made up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So Delta you? <laughs> yeah, they were they were trash at a lot of other schools, but I swear our school they were cool. They were cool at our school. Google it. They got kicked off for hazing. Tight. That that's cool. Hazing. Uh, can you speak? I don't know. I see. I'm kind of. I don't know a whole lot about like what you can talk about in a frat, like what you mm-hmm. can't talk about. Can you say what they did to you to haze you? Ours was just like, it wasn't like, like you're from Texas, you said, right? Yeah. Like those schools are literally like, that's like boot camp on yeah, like, like creatine. Yeah. yeah. But ours was more so just like a lot of drinking and like, li- like dumb stuff. They're like, you like can't like have s- your phone for a week. And you're like, oh, fuck. What? What time is it? You know? <laughs> what? Oh my yeah. God. It was just like a, a lot of like drinking and like, you just cleaned a, sh- a fuck ton. Was it cool? Like, did you like being in the frat though? Yeah, it was tight. I really liked it. They you just know? make you drink and not have your phone and you're in. Yeah. <laughs> For the most part, yeah, it was pretty soft compared to like <laughs> what other schools do, you know. Yeah. I feel that. I feel like I feel like South frats are definitely, yeah, they haze. They haze really, really bad. It's crazy. They like make you make out with like a rooster or something. A rooster? Yeah. No cows. I'd make out with a cow. Would you? I'm sure you have. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get some milk somehow, you know. <laughs> How would you compare dating in your college to dating out in LA? College was just not like serious. There'd be like. Like you, I, here's what I think every guy in college does, and probably a lot of girls too, is like you would date somebody up until like the break, like spring break or winter break, and then you'd be like, oh shit, I'm at my parents' house. 
yes, we can't talk anymore. And then you just like let things like fizzle out and then you just come back to the semester, whole new man. So it's not, a, I, I mean, I kind of feel like LA is the same way though. Uh, but it's like much. Coachella. It's like the break. Yes. You're like, hey, yeah. listen, I'm going to be hey, at Coachella. Hey, we talked to Coachella, <laughs> but EDC is tomorrow. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just very much like you look for like an out. You know, you're yeah. like, yeah, it, it was cool. Fucking chill. And then Less you're just casual. Like, yeah. For sure. But anyone in like a serious relationship, you're like, are you good? Are you held captive? But I feel like I <laughs> blink twice. Blink yeah, right? twice Literally. if you need help. <laughs> yeah. He's like staring at the camera blinking. He's like, <laughs> <didn't> help me. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I feel like dating I I don't know, even dating, but I feel like in college guys give probably like the worst I mean, all around, not even just in college, but I feel like guys give other guys like terrible sex advice. Uh that's hundred percent true. I mean that's I why so, yeah. that's the premise of literally the shit show is kind of giving guys that are watching and listening kind of real actual sex advice that they're not getting in the locker room. Cause I feel like locker room talk can be very toxic to most sex lives. Yeah, I could see that. It was funny. Like my first memory of like college, like my, uh, so we had like in our frat house would be like a room and then a common area and then a room, but it's all connected. And my roommate, like I always knew he was never laying in that pipe. Like he was never laying it for a long time. Cause he would play music in the background. Right. It'd be like country songs. Kind of sus. Right. Wow. Yeah. Having sex. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be cool. listening to like Tim McGraw. So that is out. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But okay. it was kind of weird, but like whatever gets you going, dude. You yeah, know? yeah, hundred percent. Yeehaw! But it would only go for like a song and a half, and I'd be like, "What's up? <laughs> like, what happened, dude? Is that is it a Pandora commercial break, or did you just nut quick?" And then I'd be like, "How was you last turn night?" It off right after you nut, though, you're like, "Embarrassment, okay, party's over. embarrassment." You got to be <laughs> like, "Oh fuck, I gotta go run for president," it's and like, then you just leave. Save a horse, ride a cat. Just stopped right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> no, be awkward because I'd be listening. And I'd be like, "Oh, nice, you got a chick tonight," and then it would just be like. And then just like record scratch. Almost. Would you play music? Nah, I, I'm too indecisive. And plus, like my my like <laughs> app, my like Spotify is too random. It'd be like Lil Pump, and then like Marvin Gaye, and the girls oh like, "What God. are you? Do you want to fist fight yeah, me? What are you?" Really, how my Spotify is? I can never play music during it. Yeah, it's too. What it's, do you, you just do silent, silent sex. You do yeah, you do I mean, music? I'm, yes. What do you do? What what's your genre? Actually, one time a girl put on music and I did like it. It was like what was it? It was uh it was some, it, was, it wasn't the weekend, but it was really close to it. It was like That's always, my, my always. Go-to. Yeah, I was about to be like the weekend. You probably listen to the weekend when you're gonna fuck, huh? Don't you? Yes, <laughs> you go to like the weekend essentials on Apple Music. You listen to oh, loft music, don't you? Loft music. <laughs> Loft music. <laughs> Elevator music. What's the one with Drake on it? That one. Oh my god, it's like seven minutes long. If you can make it through that, you're a champ. <laughs> seven minutes. That's the goal. Is that, is that the average? The ideal time. Seven minutes. That's like what I like, so my thighs don't start burning. <laughs> Be honest. That's good, because as a guy, I'm like fucking nine hours, and she's like, bless. Oh, you know? yeah, nine hours. Yeah, seven minutes is, uh, I could do that. You could do it? Yeah. I feel like 20, maybe we should raise it to 20. 20 minutes? You just doubled it and then Yeah, that's like, what? Uh, or 14? 14, I like, uh, let's meet in the middle and call it eight minutes. <laughs> Eight and a half. Seven minutes. minutes is, uh, yeah, it's good. Seven minutes, minutes? kind of, yeah, because then you're just like, I don't know. It takes you from one commercial break to another commercial break is yeah. how you should and then kind you're of just, picture Then it. you don't have to pay for, <laughs> for SoundCloud. <laughs> did you did, did you learn any sex tips like in the frat that you've like carried on to like even today? Like did any bro give you like any really, really good sex advice that you kind of took? Uh, I mean, frat sex is so like, you just like fuck for like a minute and then you're like, oh, that was tight. Same time (laughs) next Saturday. Like, it's just very, it's like missionary and then doggy. And then you're like, wow, I'm a fucking legend. You know? Oh my God. That's so disappointing. (laughs) I'm trying to, I'm I'm legit trying to Can we make frat sex? Like we should do like a whole campaign to like make frat sex. Well, here's also the problem. I slept. Not even great again. Cause it was never great. It was never what? (laughs) The problem is I slept on a bunk bed. So it's very limited. Every guy on the top. Uh, we rotated. So one semester I had bottom, one I had top, you know. Okay. Would you like better? Oh, probably bottom. Because you can like stand it's on the hot side. Hot Are you not scared it? that it would fall on you like in the middle of the night? I'm uh, terrified. But I was like, if it falls on me, I go out fucking legend, you know? <laughs> but it's like, there's the top is terrible because you can't, there's no leverage. You got to do doggy style like the hunchback, you know? Oh, you're like, God. your shoulders on the ceiling. And then if you got a ceiling fan, you got to risk getting your head cut off for oh. sex. I mean, that's worth it. Wait, do you I would have tell sex with that. your roommates in there? I have sex with my roommate, yeah. No. No. Okay. Um, I was gonna be like, when well, she so used to do it, like standing over, like bent over something. So what like, we used to do in the bump. frat, which is really pathetic but sad, and I think other fraternities used to do this, we would so like there was like fifty people that lived in the house, and then we would all put like we all had bunk beds, and we would put like these ha- curtains over our like bunk. So I it was a curtain over like like bunk. a half like literally a bungee cord, and then you put like a little like half curtain to cover it, uh-huh. and then the girls like oh fancy, <laughs> <laughs> is that TJ Maxx velour? 
<laughs> so mentally, you're like, oh, what's, I have no idea what's going on up there. You know, you just, their you curtains just... are closed. I think so you he's just have, watching a movie. You would legit have sex with another person just right under you. wouldn't get like nervous or shy. Like yeah, I can't even pee with someone else in the room. Like, no, I, I think the first time is definitely a little weird. You might like sneeze just to make sure, like play it off as like you're not doing anything or something. You're like, could you do and, it? I feel like you could do it. Yeah, I've definitely done that. You've done it? Yeah. It's usually like your best friend though that you like live with. It's not like some foreign exchange student kids. Like, what are you doing up there? You know? Do you ever like fist bump during? That was a good one. Uh, no, but that would be that's that's pretty peak right there. With the girl, <laughs> yeah, you could do that. My <laughs> it's friend told me, no, no, not good game, game baby. I know Keep somebody. He says every time they they high five after, and I was like, good for you. That's pretty neat. That's fun. Oh my! Wait, they, the people having sex high five? No, like oh. the guy and the girl afterwards, like good job and high five. It's like cute, you know. Is it if a guy high fived you after sex? What would your initial thought be? Um, I'd probably be like. But like a good fuck or like a bad fuck? No, yeah, I like, I'd probably be like, like oh, you, you slap God. hands after a baseball game. I wish game. he didn't <laughs> high five me. It's awkward. <laughs> it definitely doesn't make you be like, this guy could raise my family, you know? Yeah. Like, like a high oh five's not masculine or anything. Have yeah. you ever high fived a girl after sex? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't While think so. he's like, no, so. it's like all the high fives are just going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Oh, my God. What, what would be like one of the craziest nights in the frat that you'd want to like relive? Oof. Well, the craziest ones I feel like I don't remember, but um, <laughs> you just know they were crazy. Yeah, it would just be like dumb. I don't even know. It would just be like you would watch. Like it'd be so packed. Like you think about it now, like in the Corona times versus that, and you're like, oh, this God. is not. Like it would just yeah, be rooms true. like 300 people that like 40 people used to be in. It's just the sweatiest place ever. You just think about all the germs then. Oh, it's terrible. You just walk in and you're just like, you know when you get to-go food and then you like open it on top and there's that just sw- that, that little that little that <laughs> sweat on top? Everybody's yeah. like that. Oh. It's not good. But you're you're like, this is fucking, it's boats and hoes Halloween. I remember. Theme. Wait, what's boats and hoes? It, uh, people dress up as ca- captains and the women dress up as... Hoes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, there'd be, like, frats just love dumb themes, you know? I like it. I, I, I dig it. Yeah. I, we should have a boats and hoes party here. We should. But the guys dress as hoes. <laughs> yeah, and we do, we dress as boats. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. Would you come? I would for sure. Yeah, you're in 100%. I would dress like a hoe and a boat. <laughs> a hoey boat. <laughs> Sluttish boat. The sluttiest boats boat. Boats and respectable women. <laughs> boats, yeah. Exactly. He's 2020, out. okay. <laughs> okay, well, before you before we started, you were talking about how you did you d- did stand up before you started the video content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I thought it was I thought it for some reason I thought it was the opposite where you were doing video content and gotten to stand up. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you like more? Uh, I like them both for different reasons. Like stand up, the live validation is tight because you like you're like, oh, I had this thought, and then I say it to a crowd, and the crowd laughs like immediately. That that like response is tight because you like feel it. But isn't there more pressure? One hundred percent. Yeah. But it's also like better because it's like a live audience that if you aren't funny, they're like silent and you're like oh fuck it didn't work <laughs> i just like the response and like the feeling of it is better because like no amount of like views will make me feel the way being on stage does you it know won't? i mean no it's like a video hits million views i'm like okay tight like me- it's like work for me yeah. so i just check it off i'm like okay tight that that video did well yeah. what's next you know yeah, I feel that. so it's just like because like the views kind of like slowly rise up versus a laugh is like instant, instant so i like i like the instant so I like the process of creating videos better than writing jokes because jokes are just like all up in your head. Yeah. But like when you're filming with other people, it's like collaborative and shit. It's like really tight and fun. But uh, I like the initial like final product of a joke better than uh, videos. Do you have you ever like severely bombed on stage? Yes. What do you do to like? <laughs> it's fucking awkward. The world slows down. You start sweating, and then you're like start making eye contact with everyone, and you start <laughs> asking dumb questions. You're like, "Hey, drinks are crazy, right?" And they're like, "What?" <laughs> Fucking nah, Saturdays, am I right? <laughs> it's Tuesday. You're like, all right. Uh, <laughs> it's awkward because everybody knows that's in the comedy club. Like, oh, this guy is fucking up right now. And there's no yeah. way to play it cool. Like, you can just like pretend it ever happened, and then go on to something else. But like, for the most part, you're like, Ugh. yeah, you kind of get. Do you do anything before you go on stage? Is like a ritual to kind of get you like pumped up to go? Uh, I just like I'll like listen to like old like jokes back in my head, like on my phone or something, or I'll just like. I thought you were gonna say you laugh. Of... I thought you were gonna say like you look in the mirror and just laugh at yourself. What am I fucking the Joker? <laughs> just look in the mirror. <laughs> Time for comedy. <laughs> nah, I just love. I just like get really in my head and just like think about shit and drink a lot of like Red Bull or like coffee or something. I feel that. Do you yeah. think that 
girls, when you meet a girl or whatever, of like maybe she DMs you, you DM her, whatever. If you mm -hmm. go on a date, do you think there's a lot of pressure of she like expects you? Because like actually every guest we've had and Becca's like vouches for this all the time that like a guy can be really good looking, but I think the key trait is like dating a funny guy is just like, I think what we find most attractive. Right, and, like, you know, funny beats, you yeah. know, a chiseled jawline. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Depends on sometimes, how yeah. <laughs> Depends on how chiseled that jawline is. Dang, but I think you heard do, it here live. <laughs> do you think that like a girl when you go on a date, do you have like that pressure that you have to like make her laugh and be funny? A little bit. I think it just comes with the personality. The most annoying part is when girls are like, Oh, you're a comedian, make me laugh. You're like, ah, this how? ain't gonna this they ain't really gonna say make me yeah, laugh. Yeah, hundred percent. No, I, they I, don't. I've also been at bars where a girl will go like, Hey, I don't know who you are, but my friend said you're so and so. Make me laugh. And I'm like, bitch, this ain't work. How do you? Yeah. This ain't. <laughs> give me a microphone in the crowd. But in the middle of the bungalow right now? <laughs> <laughs> what do you even do? When so you're like, so awkward. there was, laugh. she's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> awkward as hell. It's so awkward. So, you, like, you just lose. But it's like, if you just hung out and, like, had a conversation, you might, like, find something to laugh about. But, like, just doing a joke one-on-one, -on -one, so awkward. Yeah, how would you, like, tough crowd. It's definitely going to be tough. The worst crowd. Yeah, but people just, like, I don't know. But I feel like a lot of people kind of out here respect it. That's a lot of, like, outside of Los Angeles that doesn't get that industry. But out here, like, if you say you do comedy, people are like, oh, I get that. That's a thing. But you go yeah. to, like, fucking Tulsa, Oklahoma, where they're like, oh, comedy boy, huh? You like Carrot Top? And you're like, what is even happening right now? So, <laughs> like, out there is when they don't believe it. But it's like, literally like going up to a stripper and be like, give me a lap dance exactly. right now. Oh, exactly. Like, that's true. Oh, you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> Put this GoPro in your asshole. All right, let me see it. <laughs> It's just testing you on the it's spot. Like why though? Like why? Like why even approach someone and be like? That's the thing. But see, you guys get it. You get like the social cues of like what you do and don't do to, to people. But like, it's just such a weird job that you just don't. It's almost like you're saying you don't believe them. You're like, oh, you are. Perfect. Oh, you think you're funny? Yeah. And then and then there's like they're like purposely trying to not laugh. But it's also like yeah. kind of like that. I I do see where girls are coming from because it's like kind of like negging. You know how like you're you like put somebody down or something. It's like it is a. Uh, power move on a girl to be like, oh yeah, you're funny. I don't fucking believe you. Make me laugh, and you're like, oh shit, I gotta make her laugh. <laughs> do you actually try? No, do after you, no, I don't. But like, I, I did you ever like, have a go to like in that moment of just like no, no not at you all. Don't no, have a go to. No, nah, how? E because <laughs> even if it bombs, then she's like, yeah, this guy's a double loser, you know? <laughs> yeah, what do you I say? just you're just like I'm just like I I don't have like knock knock jokes. I don't even know. I just often I just like laugh, and I'm like, this is hilarious. This is not real. How about you? Like, you, you know, you're a laugh? comedian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're funny. Yeah. But sometimes I've been pressed, like, no, tell the joke. And I'm like, lady, this is, it's, we're at Kmart right now. Relax. You know? <laughs> it is awkward because you're just like, why do you want to hear this joke so bad? Just go yeah. on YouTube and type in comedy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you, have you ever had any like crazy fans like after a show or something that like come up to you and like, have you ever like, Maybe has it gone well and like maybe you've date went on a date with a fan from a comedy show or like has it always do you get like the weirdos? Yeah, I went on a date with a girl who was like a fan. This is like kind of weird because she was like just like quoting stuff at the date and you're like that you oh. said. Yeah. Oh my god, it was either this from gets a vi worse and worse. Yeah, it was either from a video or like stand up, but it was just like quoting it and you're just like, oh, this is kind of weird. But she was what like waiting do you do? for you to laugh after. Oh, yeah, right. I was like, wait, I made the joke. Why am I supposed to laugh? <laughs> yeah, no, it was awkward. Um. But I guess you like you wouldn't know until you did it. But like that's a golden age of like don't like date or hook up with your fans or whatever, you know. Have you ever hooked up with just hooked up with a fan? Yeah, but it was kind of like more like screened out a little bit. Like I had met them before. Oh, like, okay. You know, like we had. So hung only out. one. Uh, I call uh, yeah. Give or, take, <laughs> give or take. Give or take. Give or take. Give or take one to ten. Hundred. Because I do think there is something sexy about like comedy. I do feel like you know girls are watching you on stage, and I feel like. Getting to meet you, you know, after the show, I feel like it'd be cool. And I feel like a lot of girls would try and shoot their shot after the show. Yeah, especially because girls, for the most part, like when a show, they kind of want to win the night. Like, let's say there's a hundred girls there. Like, they want to be the girl that was in the crowd that took the comedian home. They want to be like, all these Lucky other girls you, were here, Trevor. but I want to. I mean, I have a girlfriend now for that reason because it was just like just very distracting. It's like your bodyguard taking home. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like, I don't know. You just run into enough like of these like random one nighters where you're like, I should just. So now she's like your bodyguard. She's like, yeah, yeah right. She'll just. After Does she go to all your shows? Uh, some, but she'll, she'll come to a good amount. But. Does she say make you? She make you make her laugh all the time? No, that's what I like. <laughs> she's normal, you know. <laughs> she's not like yeah. waking up making yeah. you laugh. How do you? The other like question we always have is a lot of the guys in the industry. You know, whether it be like Diplo who performs on stage, you performing on stage, it's definitely a confidence thing. And I feel like a lot of guys, especially that watch the shit show, struggle with that kind of confidence. Confidence, yeah. 
I think it's just believing in your own product, whatever it is, you know, like it's just really owning it. Cause confidence, like a lot of like jokes might not even be funny on paper. Like if you write it out, but it's like how you sell it, it's, it's confidence. It, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, here's the thing. If, if you're on stage, not confident about your own material or jokes, or your own video you're posting, then the people watching aren't going to be confident. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's all about like body language. Like you can read body language so quick. That's why like if your first joke bombs on stage, oh, it's terrible. Oh, and everybody can feel it. It can yeah. feel the awkwardness. So if you don't believe in your own shit, then it's never going to sell. Same with uh, any product or any video you put out there. Or even you know? telling a girl, I feel like. I mean, I feel like you can tell the way a guy approaches you, how he, like, approaches. It's not like how he says or what he says. It's how he says it. 100%. Yeah, because two guys could say the same exact thing, but how they say it in tone. Yeah. And you're like. It's a game changer. Yeah, exactly. Like, most guys don't understand that for some reason. I feel that, yeah. You said you don't. You said you never had a go-to. Obviously, you have your girlfriend now, but yeah. when before, you never had, like, a go-to of, like, Maybe even when you were in the frat or like college of like, cause like a go-to line. Not even, even yet. Yeah. Just like how to approach a girl. There's guys here right now that are like, how do they approach a girl? Like what has, what maybe yeah. something you've used that has been successful that maybe like wasn't your go-to, but you used it and it worked. Uh, my favorite one was something my buddy Stevie Emerson showed me. Uh, you go up to a girl and you just start playing rock, paper, scissors. You just go up be like, and then that's like. Whether you win or you lose, it's like a funny kind of like Did introduction. That. Would you it, like that? It's different. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't oh. like it. But, but yeah, exactly. If you win or you lose, like if you lose, you're like, ah, oh, fuck this guy. But if you win, you're like, haha, I owe you. Oh, speaking of you, what's your name? I it's like an that. interesting way in. Instead of like a, I feel like the classy like line. It's like, you know how many times a girl's heard like, you want to take a shot? It's like, what is this going to do? You <laughs> it's know? the same as make me laugh. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. it's just like doing something different that's not too different, you know? Yeah. No, I dig, I dig the rock, paper, scissors. So I think that's a fun little, just like, try, just think about everything else guys are saying to girls and be like, okay, how can I be different from that? Because every like, guy's Yeah, I did, definitely think it's like sticking out or standing out, especially in college or like, especially in like, you get in such a routine of like going out and I feel like you always get approached kind of the same way. Yeah, exactly. And it's like the go-to. I think every guy like in my frat would just be like, yeah, just ask your if she wants to take a shot. And then I just. <laughs> She's like wasted. <laughs> it's just like. like ah. You want to take a sh You want some water? <laughs> yeah, you want to get some bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good good one. I'd be down for some carbs for sure. Carb me up, daddy. Carb me up, daddy. That should be the episode title. <laughs> Carb. <laughs> should be. It should be. Have you had anything? Maybe again going back to the frat because I feel like this might be more of a frat thing. I don't know. It could be an LA thing too. Have you ever ever had anything extremely funny to you ha happen while hooking up? I mean, the bunk beds are... Is bunk beds are funny. One time a girl choked me in college, and I was like, that's interesting. I was like, I don't... <laughs> but I was so new into, like, that type of the, like, things of, like, hooking up. I was like, oh, fuck. Wait, okay, explain. She's on top. You're on top. Uh, She... Oh, yeah, she was on top, and then she was like, can I choke you? She I, asked? Yeah. We out here 2020 respecting, you know? She... Roll reverse. She asked me, you know? And you said yes? I, well, I was so, like... I was, <laughs> At that point, I was so, like, normal into hooking up. I was just like... Yeah. Like, I wasn't, I was very, like, vanilla, like, missionary, call the night, you know, go yeah. to church in the morning type guy, you know? <laughs> missionary, praying. So when she asked me, I was like, oh, shit, like, am I missing out on something? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? So I let it do it. I didn't know what to do, and I just, like, looked at my ceiling of the bunk bed, and I was like, I, kids, I can't really breathe right now. Wait, so she did, did she do the hardcore choke or the act, like, because you know you're uh, supposed to choke differently like during sex. Maybe we should teach guys this right now. Like, yeah, yeah, please, please yeah. let me know. I don't know. How, how are you supposed to choke? You're supposed to like. <laughs> you're supposed to squeeze. Okay, so you're supposed to like, and when, you, when you're trying to choke someone, like kill someone, you're supposed yes, to like. Please. You're supposed to like grab like that when you're trying to kill someone, right? right? Okay. But if you're uh, trying I've never to try to kill anybody, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. Yeah. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> so it's like, so this is if you're trying to kill. Um, if you're trying to fuck, just like fast forward three minutes. Oh. No, but yeah. if you're if you're trying to choke during sex, you want to just kind of squeeze on the side. Like you don't want to actually. Apply like choking pressure where they can't breathe. Right. She just like put pressure on it and then just stay there for a second. I was like, am I supposed to be turned on right now? I wasn't. You weren't. No. You didn't I like didn't, it? it was awkward. I don't know what to do. I'm in a bunk bed getting choked. Like this is not. <laughs> this is not what dreams are made she got out all of. Choked up. That's not what Fleetwood Mac is singing about when they're singing dreams. You know, that's not. It is bad though, guys. Do really like guys listening like. There is a certain way to choke because there have been awkward moments where like a guy like will go to choke and like actually it's like I'm like gonna pass throat. out. Yeah, it's like yeah, literally yeah. like he's trying yeah, to kill you. Squeeze on the sides. Side. Squeeze on the sides. Side. That's good. See, I didn't know. Nobody, nobody teaches pressure. you this. That's this is why we have the and shit it's like show. pressure and then it just <laughs> kind of like cuts off. I think maybe the circulation instead of like your air hole. Yeah. 
Mm. I don't know. The throat, I believe. There's definitely a, a way to choke and a way to not choke. But you've been, you didn't like it. You weren't a few I was just awkward. I just didn't know what to do. Because in my head, I was like, I wanted to. Was she like, yeah, like, do you like something? that? Yeah, of course I said yeah. Because you know when somebody asks you something that you're not, like, you've never you done? Like, yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all about that. Oh, yeah. Fucking, I get choked every Wednesday at 9 a.m., you know, like. Ain't no thing for That's me. how Becca wakes me up for work. I yeah. believe it, yeah. you know? She's like, but, but, slap. but on the like to, to like like on the sides yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, on the sides. Got you. Just a little like pressure. a subtle like wake up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is actually now that I think of it. Until I'm in the will. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 has the come up of like fame and stuff have it has it heavily affected? I know you like you said you have a girlfriend now, but at the beginning of like you really you know becoming famous did it affect like you hooking up with girls or like girls approaching you and yeah it was, it was mainly just like people who were like maybe i knew beforehand and then like things started doing well and they're like oh, oh you had like a girl up? from high school reach out it's like hey do you yeah. remember me yeah or like a dm after two years like sorry i woke up <laughs> bitch were you in a coma what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that's what becca actually dated a guy what was the story where he was like texted you and he got out of the shower but it was like three months later what oh yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't dating him, but like we were like talking. We would talk like on and off, and then um, I got really drunk one night. <laughs> we didn't talk for a while, and then literally like three months later, he was like, "I'm sorry, I just got out of the shower. I fell for it though." <laughs> Did you no, fell I'm for kidding. it? No, I didn't fall for it. You, I didn't you're like, how high is your water bill? <laughs> Fuck. No, no wonder we're in a drought. I didn't fall for it, but like she definitely fell. Becca likes to fuck before the first date. No. Before the first oh date. Oh my god! What do you it, mean? Like, hey, let's meet up and then we'll go to time. a movie theater. You guys, literally every single interview, I have to be like, it was one time, you guys. I promise. And it was with the same guy, the guy that got out of the shower for three months. Yeah, same guy. I'm lost. Wait, what do you mean it's shower? Love, okay. They, so they hooked up <laughs> before or after the before, shower? Before. Well, I, was, I guess this after the before. shower, after the three month shower, after but before the, shower. the before the first date. They were supposed to be going on a date. Their Uber was like five minutes late, and they just like fuck it. Have you ever had sex before the first date? Be, what do you mean before the first? Oh. Like you go over to take a girl on a date and then you just don't end up making it to the date. Oh. No, we made it to the date. But they fucked before the first date. I mean like yeah, one night did. stands, yeah, but never like banged a girl and then been like, you want to go to fucking Buffalo Wild Wings? Or? <laughs> you know what? We actually went to Crustacean. Oh, so. is that where you like peel the crabs and shit? Um, No. What's Crustacean? They do have crab though. It's like down oh. the street. It's nice. It's like a... I don't know what kind is it. They have like it doesn't fish matter, under the it floor. Doesn't matter. Fish under the floor. <laughs> yeah, you walk on like Sea a World. <laughs> <laughs> no. I want to go on a date to Sea World. No. Yeah. No. What's your ideal first date? Ooh, it's anything besides a movie and dinner. She's That's like too cliche. Spontaneous. Yeah. I just want to like sit on a view. She's mocking and me. just like it's just anything, I like maybe, that though. Anything I with understand. an activity besides like I don't like hiking though. Like you should never take a girl hiking for the first date. You're out of breath. Oh, you yeah, can't really talk. No. Yeah, it's awkward. But I think just and then anything, you gotta like walk in front or behind them. You can't. Yeah, it's a whole heavy breathing. It's a whole heavy, a lot stop of heavy hiking breathing. for your yeah. first date. Yeah, I just think ridiculous. anything like an activity. I think like arcades are really fun. Just like arcade. That's a good idea. Game. Like Dave and Buster's was always fun. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. But movie, you can't talk. Don't do a movie. Don't do fucking dinner. I I t personally don't like eating. In if front you're of gonna someone. do like a dinner type thing, I think you should just get drinks because if it's bad, you can kind of get out of there a little bit quicker. Right. You could just like have a drink. Dinner. If you order and they're taking forever, you gotta sit through it. So if from the beginning it's bad, you gotta fucking stay there for like at least thirty minutes. Yeah, have you, you had it like a yeah. terrible date? Just wait till the food comes. Yeah, and it's I mean, like I've been weird. on some awkward ones where you're just like in the back of your head, you're like, ah, what am I, what's my Have you ever here? like left in the middle of one? Mm, like maybe not in the you. middle, but more so just like, all right, this probably isn't going to work out. But one time I went to like this one, they have all these like food trucks out there. And then I was like, uh, she, like she got her food and then she was like, well, what do you want to eat? And I was like, I want to go home, you know, <laughs> but, but no, in my head, I still, <laughs> I still got, you know, like macaroni and cheese, like lobster on it, uh, you know, just yeah. a, well, I'm Just telling you right now, man, if you're watching this and you're sitting at a dinner with a girl and she gets a phone call and she's like, oh, my pet is sick or I have to go walk my dog. Her best friend definitely just called her because she sent her an emergency. I need to get out of this text. Dang. If you've ever been sitting with a girl and she answers the phone is like, oh, oh, my God. Yeah, I have to go. Her best friend's yeah. on the other line going. My pet just got a DUI. <laughs> you're like, huh? <laughs> Your golden doodle's hammered? <laughs> yeah, uh, he true. does it. It's so weird. I think crazy. <laughs> Have you guys ever bailed on like in the middle of no. dates? Thousand percent. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Becca, you haven't? I haven't. Legend. There's no way. No, I really haven't. Okay, no, okay, say it's not a date, but just like hanging out with a guy. You've never like you've never faked the phone call to get out of something. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just hanging out for sure. Yeah. 
100%. Really? Are there any like dope ones where like he like tr- thought he was doing something cool? He's like, we're gonna fucking throw flaming knives today. And you're like, <laughs> no. I'm trying to think of like the most. It's definitely, I think I've always faked, like, oh, I have to do something, but I don't, it's never been something cool because I've always It's always like random stayed. shit. Like, I gotta file my taxes outside. And you're like, what? <laughs> it always, it's always something taxes super random. Taxes are due for six months. <laughs> and you're trying not to laugh because your friend on the other end is going, yeah, it's going to shit, isn't it? And they're trying to like fake this. Yeah, thing. they're like, oh, ah, yeah. you stupid fucker, get back home. <laughs> and yes. you're like trying to keep a straight face, like, oh, fuck, are you serious right now? Right, your Damn acting it. skills come into play. <laughs> what? <laughs> I Grandma fought a Walmart greeter again. <laughs> Fuck. Damn, I, you're so, I'm, I'm going to have you call me next time. I'm yeah, like, I got the great ones. Oh, yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like guys would do it, though. You've never you've never had to call a bro. A bro's never sent you, like, I need help text that, like, get me out of this date. Here's the thing. Dudes are just horny. So we will be like, yo, she was annoying, but pff, I still beat. You know, like, in our what? head, we'll be like, like, we... If anything, it would be the next morning after. You'd be laying in bed, and you're like, oh, I got to vacuum my Uggs, and then you just, like, leave. It's post-nut clarity. It's post-nut clarity. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's real morning after. Thing. It's a rare, very real thing. So guys will be, like, I gotta vacuum guys, my will, <laughs> guys will, like, see through it. Guys will be like, ah, whatever. Because, like, in their head, if you ask, like, oh, how was the girl? But, yeah, she was cool. She could have been, like, a gargoyle, right? Yeah. But the guy's not going to tell their homies, like, oh, she was whatever. So he'll be like, yeah. Like, oh. like every dude I've ever talked to, but like, yeah, I mean, she talked a lot, but like, whatever. And that means that he like was sitting there at the date and he's like, this is whatever. And then he just like was like, I'm just going to, you know, bang. And there's that. And, and we'll dip? Just, yeah, I guess. But like. Do you think post not clarity, does post not clarity happen for guys immediately right after? Or does it normally take like, because like every, all the memes and stuff about it are literally, it seems like it's like right up. Do you think girls have post not clarity? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Really? So. It lasts three minutes to three months. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I hate them Sounds after. like there's a They're story like, behind oh, that. Oh, God. <laughs> it is true. I, I think it is a three. That's the thing. Girls have post not clarity, but it's not, it's like post three month clarity. There's a three month hump in the relationship. No, it can literally last three minutes to three months. So like, if you have like a, oh my God, like, why did I just do that? You know what I mean? Or you're like, uh, I wish I didn't do that. It can maybe last. Right, because then it hits you up. He's like, you trying to go to crustacean? You're yeah, like, yeah. I guess it's not too bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's more so, like, because at night, like, after you guys, like, bang, it's like, whatever, you kind of, like, fall asleep or whatever. It's the morning after where you're like, right. yo, what's going on here? Why did I do that? Yeah, I think it's a lot of that. It's, like, post-morning clarity, question mark, I think. Question mark. Have post-morning. you had, in the so you said choking. Is it, like, what is your other biggest fear for something to happen, like, during hooking up? Getting choked again? Oh, I got a funny one. One time I was looking with this girl and she just stopped and she goes, I miss my ex-boyfriend. No. I swear to God. Yeah. Way. I swear to God, yeah. That was also in a bunk bed in fraternity. Might have been the same girl. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. But this girl was like, she was pretty. <laughs> She's like, like I well, hate you. What happened <laughs> is she she said I like reminded her of her ex like earlier in that night. And I was like, oh, all right, that's a weird thing. Maybe that's why she was choking you. She started crying. No, but I, I did. Yeah, I started bawling <laughs> up. I was like, huh? No. She was like, I just, I don't know. She like kind of got off. She's like, I don't know. Kind of just like. I just like miss my ex, and then she, I was I was like, this is awkward. There's no okay. Wait, what what what? Break it down. What position were you in? We weren't even fucking. We you were just fucking? making out, <laughs> making out, bunk bed, college frat, <laughs> boom. And she like kind of like just gets up and like, and I could tell it, it was like kind of random. And she was just like, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like, kind of like you remind me of my ex, and I just miss my ex. And I was like, oh. this is the worst dirty talk ever. Uh- Tell me you like yeah. fought your ex or something, you know? Like, Anymore. but <laughs> after that, I was like, "What am I supposed to follow this up with?" I'm like, "Yeah, I miss my ex too," you know? <laughs> what did you say? You just I was so awkward. I just laid there, and then I think I was like, "All right, well, maybe we probably shouldn't." And she's like, "Yeah, we shouldn't." And then she just she just left. I've heard nightmare stories from like some of my guy friends. Will they be hooking up with a girl and she'll start crying? Mid sex. Uh, that happened to me once. This girl was like, I was scared that I like you too much that you would leave me. And I was like, Well, now you're crying, so I'm definitely gonna <laughs> leave you. Wait, wait, you're what, midway sex, sex she starts crying that? and she's like Right after. So she starts crying. What the and, and then she, fuck? Well, I mean, we have both been drinking and she's just like, I'm so sorry. I just like I really like you. And then the thought of you leaving me came oh across my, my mind and I started oh my crying. God, this is like making me freak out. Yeah. No, this is weird. It's like so bad. I, what did like, you do? I just want to be her friend and just be like, stop, stop. Yeah, no, she's Come on. You're watching this. Let's go. No, you she's doing do fine that. now, but it was, it was <laughs> very. <laughs> you call and check up on her every once in a while. Oh, yeah, but you're still crying? You're good? <laughs> but it, it is a weird thing to hear because you're like, wait, you're, you're scared that I would leave you. This is literally our like, second time ever hanging out. And oh, then she's full on crying. Oh, my God. And to That's a guy's mind, be. guys don't comprehend when a girl like is crying. Like we don't know what to what do. Goes we shut to your down. Head? 
uh, control alt delete. We just like we're like, uh, <laughs> do you do you want a peanut butter and jelly? Like we don't know <laughs> we don't know how to segue it, so it gets really awkward. And what'd you I, say? What'd you give advice? Girls crying. It obviously depends on what she's crying about. Yeah, that's a sometimes great, it's yeah, worse please, to just like it's worse to really address it, right? Because then you just start crying more, and then you get embarrassed that you're crying more. But how do you not address it? Her <laughs> mascara yeah, is just yeah, running yeah, down yeah, her face, right. and you're like, ah, oh, tomatoes, huh? You like them? <laughs> Did you say you have something in your eye? It's like, oh, my God. Like, what, a so goddamn stick, glacier? What the hell's in your eye? A stick in my eye, you know? A, a, tsunami. a stick in your eye? Twig. <laughs> yeah, that was that one I forgot about. That was, that was really oh awkward. Because then I was like, no, I'm not going to leave you. And you're like, yeah, I'm yeah. definitely going to leave you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And then she like texts me the next day. She's like, I never cry. I just was scared. Oh, God. I gotta, leave me. Was well, that in the frat, frat too? The next day? Uh, no, that, that was like, that was probably that was a couple in LA. years ago, yeah. Coachella, for sure. Coachella. Yeah, she was rolling so Yeah, much. rolling. No, no. <laughs> oh, I was like, no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was, that was just like a random LA weekend. But what's, what's your biggest fear for doing sex? Mm. How do you guys feel about eye contact, by the way? I love eye contact. You like it? I love yeah. eye like contact. It? Yeah. Okay. I hate it. Okay, I've not like just like open, like not like, it's got to be on and off. Like you right, can't just right. heavy make eye contact for the whole, what, yeah, three and a half minutes? can't have a stare off, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You have Whoever to like- blinks first is <laughs> buying breakfast and you're like, fuck! <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, but you definitely no, yeah, got to do it. some like, some off and on. Or even when they say like, look at me. Yeah, that's a good okay. one. Okay. Yeah, you know. <gasps> yeah, that's right, Bex. But that comes with like the control of yeah, it. That's like a dominant comes. thing. Like, <laughs> look at me. Yeah, a yeah, lot of cum everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you just like randomly like, gay, like gaze eyes, like, oh, oh, what's up? All right, I'm gonna go back down to your ass real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, just saying, like, some people are like it's so awkward. I'm like, it's only awkward oh. if you make it awkward. Wait, why what? is that awkward? Who said it's awkward? I, I've had girls tell me. I feel like, like it's I don't. more awkward if you don't look someone in the eye. Yeah, if you're just well, like, it's like, what are you supposed to look at? <laughs> You're like, You're oh, it's like, a nice fucking ceiling fan. I'm like, what the hell are you looking at? If you know what I mean? Yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, yeah, eye contact for sure. And if they think it's weird, then they're weird. They're weird. They're, yeah. You heard you a lot of them. Yeah, like, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't want eye contact? Yeah, I mean, if they have a lazy eye, different story. Yeah, eye twitch. Are you looking at me? <laughs> it's just a, I mean, I'd be turned on. Go cross-eyed. I'd be curious. Cross-eyed during missionary. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is a joke. <laughs> Oh my god! Or if somebody had a glass eye, I'd be so tight, I'd be so jealous. <laughs> like while they weren't looking, I'd put like an all white one in, and then the guy would be like, "Oh my god, he's fucking putting in that work," you know? <laughs> one of my eyes went in the back of my head when in reality it's just a glass eye. <laughs> and that's why they called the shit show. Where are what's we? How that? are we talking about fucking getting <laughs> fucked by guys? Glass eyes. Eye? <laughs> I don't know. Bex was supposed to tell you. What's your biggest fear during sex? Oh, I think fuck, we talked that about was it. The question. I was like, um, I think we talked about it the other day. It starts with the Q and ends with eating. <laughs> oh, I, I have a, I have a guess. Really I'm not really. I'm really guess. That is it queefing? It's queefing. The almighty Q word. I don't like. That's mind a it. lie, guys. No, because once I found out what it was, that it's from the guy. It's from us putting air in you. It's kind of like a. Yeah, but I'm it always Okay, sometimes like, oh, guys I did like that. it. Compliments to the chef, baby. That's all me. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. It's not like you're like flatulent. It it's is. Like, it is embarrassing because a, it sounds like a an fart. Awkward noise. Yeah. Do you think that you have to address it if you queef? Yeah, do you think girls need to be like, that was a queef, not a fart? No, I think it's a maturity thing. The first time you hear a queef, you're like, whoa, like, we're out here, you know? But the second time, you're like used to it. I mean, I think for like- The second time, you're like, queef. Second time, you're like, that's all me, baby. You know, it's just revving up the engines, you know? <laughs> but, but once I found out what- no, yeah. But when I was in like college, I remember I thought it was like kind of like gross or whatever, but I found out later it's just like from air. And then I was like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because you're like shoving air up. Yeah. Like, I feel like when you're, like, younger, like, maybe, like, in high school, and you're, like, oh, my God, like, that's so bad. But now I'm, like. Yeah, like, when you're younger, you don't understand what it is. You don't like, like it. It's just the, it's just the like, awkwardness of, was that a fart or was that a quick? But you're not fucking and if you're ripping like, one during sex. That's the thing. Sounds like Julia might be, all right? <laughs> <laughs> She's, no like, that wasn't a queef. You're, like, that wasn't a fart. But you have to this label is. it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's some dominant shit right there. <laughs> If a girl did that to me, I would just start bowing. You would? I, I would just bow. I'd be like, here's your Nobel Peace Prize. What would it be like? <laughs> what could be some... Okay, if a girl does it during sex, address it or don't address it? What's the vote? Uh, if it's the first time you guys hook up. Maybe yeah, like if a, it's the first time. What, would, what, what, what could a girl say that like helps make it funny? But wait, there's more. No. <laughs> no. Right? Coming but to make this it funny. December. Yeah, to right? To a theater near you. you that was Queeping bad. 2020. 
I think the name Queef is a little aggressive with the action of it. What could like, we whatever. rename it? Queef Queens. <laughs> I think it's just, uh, I don't know. What could we rename the Queefs? I hate the oh Queef just God, sounds yeah. too I don't, French. I, don't, I just don't like the name. Yeah. Queef it reminds me of Queef. Quiche. Que- yeah, like quiche, quiche is okay. And I don't really like quiches that much. What would have you, you rather have? A, a queef or a yeah, quiche? Of course. Would you rather have a queef or a quiche? <laughs> or a quiche that queefs? I just don't want a quiche right now. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, we're not calling it a pussy fart. That is so nasty. That's, That's even worse yeah. than queef. Pussy oh, fart let's call it like a little... Um, <laughs> like a little... I would call it just like an oops. Yeah, an oops. Oops. Yeah, an oops, oops is oops. good. Like, a poof. Let's call it a poof. A poof. Poof? I don't know. Oh, that kind of sounds like a poop. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're one letter off from being dark, you know? Just being <laughs> <laughs> what about an oof? oof? Oof. I like that. Oof. 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 Because like when you mess up, That's a, it's oof. like your vagina says oof. Yeah, I I think so. I like the oops. 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 Oops, I made an oof. <laughs> oops, I made an oof. I think oh that's what it is. I made an oopsie. What do you do though? Like, what about guys listening that like maybe you know there has been something awkward? Like maybe she has oofed or whatever during sex. How <laughs> how do you turn an awkward like I feel like humor definitely plays a part in making an awkward situation like kind of unawkward. Yeah. Um, I think if you hear something, a guy should literally just say that they know it was a queef and not a fart. Wouldn't Even if it was a better? fart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but then that sounds like too scientific, like an animal hunter. Like, I know that's a queef, not a fart. I know what a fart sounds like. And she's like, oh, okay. Uh, that's true. I, I, I honestly think you just, because here's the thing. If you don't address it and you just keep going 10 seconds later, it never happened. True, 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 true. Yeah, so maybe just don't address it. But what about just like different, I mean, it's like, I feel like sex is just naturally mm-hmm. awkward. And it's, I feel like if yeah, you try and put pressure, if you try and put pressure on it not being awkward, it makes it even more awkward. So I'm saying like, do you, do you like have some, you know, maybe you crack jokes during sex? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, that's kind of just like my personality. So like, I think sometimes I do. And then it's like weird. Cause like some people are just like very like, this is dominant. This is how we do it. It's fucking yeah. animalistic. I'm just like, I'll like say yeah. whatever, you know? I think it has to be fun. Yeah, yeah I think fun, funny, funny, messy. Like sex yeah, needs to be like, like stupid. Like, what are we doing? You're putting your dick in me. Well, the you whole f- the whole like thing about it is it's hilarious. Already- like five minutes ago, you're in the back of an Uber XL with like some random folks in an Uber pool, and you're like, "Hey guys, well, how was your night? It's good. It's great." Five minutes later, you're just inside of each other. It's like <laughs> yeah, sex crazy. just doesn't make. It's just hilarious it doesn't make sense. Drama. It should be funny. Yeah, it should it be a funny, funny thing. A mixture, a mixture of like hot but funny. I like it. That's yeah. why when the queef hits, you just da da keep going. Just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't even address it. Yeah, so don't address it. I agree now. Yeah. Or you have like a button on, like you know, that was easy buttons. You go, that was easy, and they just keep going. <laughs> oh my or God, oof, guy. Oof, oof. <laughs> an oof button, I think. An oof. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I love it. I love it. Should we get into? So me and Bex kind of brainstorm. We wanted to play Would You Rather. Oh, let's do it. Are you a fan? I am very much a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? You got to answer them too. Okay. Even though you helped me make them. I know. Okay. I don't even. Remember. Question number one. Oh. Would you rather have one significant other for the rest of your life now uh-huh. or sleep around and not be able to spend more than one week with someone? Uh, Probably one significant other, I think. It's tough because he has a girlfriend, so he has to say that right now. Right. <laughs> <She's> like, <"What laughs> also, fuck? every week, this is it's a lot of planning, you know. Yeah, it's but like, you, I can't you really think from Sunday. like this point forward for the rest of your life dealing with one person. I mean, he has to say yes. Because you know, as a girl, she would be pissed. So we're going to say yes. We're going to say one significant other. Or yes. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Question number two. Would you rather eat ass or read a book? Uh, A girl's ass. I'd probably eat ass. Same. My doctor told me I read it like a seventh grade level when I was in college. And I was like, this is fucked up. (laughs) I'm not good at reading. What about you, Bex? Um, I know you haven't read a book in fucking years. So let's just be honest. You've eaten ass sooner than you've read a book. (laughs) I have. I've done both. At the same time? <laughs> I read She's reading an ass about eating ass. ass. There you go. Eating ass. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what you do. I love it. I love it. Would you rather be able to make someone laugh? Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm fucking this up. Would you rather Looks never... Like you haven't read in a while. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm too busy eating ass. What's your... Where are you going on that question? Eat ass or read a book? Eat ass. Definitely. Yeah. Eat ass right. he reads a book. Oh, I mean, that's how Albert Einstein was made, I think, actually. <laughs> Someone was eating ass while reading a book. You think Albert Einstein got his ass eaten? Probably. I, I think everybody's a freak. I mean, Bill Clinton got head in the presidential office. If that doesn't tell you, like, where the world's at, hilarious. I bet people are freaks. Who do you think the freakiest 
freak of them all is. Elon Musk. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, he has for sure the weirdest sex toys ever. He, he does, doesn't he? 100%. He should share them with the world. I don't know if the world's right. Tesla that, should come though, out yeah. with sex toys. <sighs> like, you think yeah. about what a Tesla does. Think about if he made a sex toy. Like, that would be insane. I'd be nervous. There's no way my dick could keep up with that, you know? Yeah, like, girls are just like, why would I fuck you when I got the Elon fucking <laughs> model <laughs> sex over here, you know? Model sex. That's what I'm saying. Like, if Elon model. Musk is putting it out there, you can watch Netflix while playing with yourself. What can I do? <laughs> true, true, true. Fuck. Can't do that. Elon It'd be Musk, too advanced. You're watching this. Please give us sex toys. We need them. That's really. <laughs> That's really. Would you rather never be able to make someone laugh again or for you to never be able to come again? Hold up. I got to think about this. Wait, what did you say? You can never make someone laugh ever again. No one will ever laugh at you. All right. I can never. Or you can well. never come again ever in your life. I think suicide. On no, that. you <laughs> can't. Wait. So, okay. I can never, I can either never make somebody laugh again or never come again. Mm-hmm. Wow. I That's know. a good. I came up with this one. I think. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you didn't. Britain um, did. What? Yeah. Okay, I did the never, never come again part. You'd never come again. No, no. What no. would you choose? Well, um. Yeah. Oh my God, I don't know. Uh, I would. This is rough. I think I'd never make people laugh again, and then I would just ghost write <laughs> jokes for people and sell them. That's, that way I can know. That's cheating. Is it? But never make it, not even in your relationship. Like you'll never make anybody uh, laugh. There's yeah, nothing worse than seeing true. like a couple at a restaurant that just has like zero personality. And they're just like, how was your steak? Like, yeah, they're so on their good. Phone. Yeah. Actually, I, yeah, not, I guess I'm never nutting again. Yeah, I guess I'll never I, well, okay, I'll be in a really right bad answer? mood. I, I'm just shocked. I don't know. I want to know what genuinely on your heart would be the answer to be. I do not know. Uh, I, I don't know. That's a hard one. <laughs> that, that that's well, you legit. Got you got ten seconds. All right, never coming again. Okay. Because I, I want a career. True. Can I have wet dreams still? You can't come. You can't have the feeling of coming. Ever. That's. But evil. then I would just be like the angriest, like depressed, like comedian. You know. <laughs> I'd just be like, you guys ever not come for forty eight years straight? <laughs> and the crowd's like, no. <laughs> I come every night. <laughs> because you chose a would you rather on this shit show. <laughs> yeah, why don't yeah. you never come again after today? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Wow. In advance. R.I.P. Genie in a bottle. Okay, last one. That was a tough one. Would you rather have the worst sex with the hottest girl of your dreams, insanely life-changing sex, right? Or would you rather have... Oh, wait, so sorry, so sorry, so no, sorry, so sorry. The worst. The worst. Or would you rather have insanely good, life-changing sex with someone extremely lacking in the looks department? First one. What? Because you don't Why? understand how guys talk. Guys be like, yo, so let's say, for example, we're just going to call her Peggy Sue, right? Which is which the one? least hot name. Okay. So, but, but if, like, let's say she was the hottest girl ever, but I lasted three seconds, which is pretty good for me, right? So I lasted three seconds, right? To a, my homies, my friends, I'm not telling them that. I'm be like, yo, guess who I banked? Show them a picture. Like, what? No follow-up questions. But, like, that's just how guys' matters. minds work. So you're saying your friends' opinions matter more to you than your own opinions of who you fuck? No, I'm just saying, like, if I show my friends, like, a picture of somebody who was, like, very whatever, but I was like, what is the best sex ever? They'd be like, okay, cool. Like, that makes sense, whatever. But if I was like, yo, check this out. Sports yeah, but Illustrated, the sex still doesn't matter? Uh, well, I mean, it definitely does matter, but in terms of, like, bragging rights or, like, what I would say after or how I'd feel after, I would definitely want to feel good after because I'd be like, damn, I put in a whole four pumps. What? But We're talking life changing, like you have out of this world sex where it's like insane. You don't even have to tell anyone you had sex with her. I think I'm still sticking with the first one because if it's like any girl in the world, I could just, you know, it's more of like a bragging right at that point, you know? <sighs> Guys are so stupid. I'd say so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, like, that's just how a guy's brain works. They'll be like, yo, I fucked Oprah. And you're like, you fucked Oprah? But like, deep down, it was like three pumps, you know? So it doesn't like. Yeah. What about you? Um, I mean, probably, probably the second one, but like really lacking. Yeah, because this is how this is how girls and guys are different. Uh -huh. Is girls will literally you could show them an insanely hot guy, and if a girl's like, but like the sex was fucking terrible, we're all like, oh, like we heavily judge off that. But See, but you, that's the thing—you yeah. snitch on yourself. Guys don't be snitching. We hold it down. It could be the worst sex in the world, you? but you're like, nah. 
so confusing. Oh my god, write a fucking haiku then poem like, about why, how great why it was. Are the girls <laughs> Why are girls putting in the work then? If it doesn't matter. If like the sex is just like, as no, long as you have bragging rights. No, it definitely does matter. But if it's like a one-off scenario, somebody's like, yo, you can either bang this girl who uh, works at Geico in HR. She's very nice, throws it back. Or this girl who's been like a Victoria's Secret model for 10 years. You're going to be like, yo, fucking Victoria's Secret model. And then, I'm talking about the sex is so bad, maybe like you don't even nut. Like that, it's terrible. Like, like maybe, maybe it's has like maybe it's like sandpaper on teeth. the inside. Oh, see, but then you can blackball her. Boom, money. See, <laughs> and you sell it to TMZ. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm can't uh, convince him. Can't uh, convince him. No, I, I. Well, I think of it. Yeah, I think. The thing is, ju- like, I don't even think I can fuck someone that I'm not sexually attracted to. Like, yeah, but really I don't feel like you're heavily sexually attracted to looks. Are you? Do you think all guys are heavily sexually attracted to looks? Guys, no. 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 What do you think they're attracted to the most? Uh, personality. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> like, no, I mean, it, I mean, it varies. Like, like I, I'm big on like, uh, like a smile and eyes. That's like are the looks. first things I catch. Yeah, but well, what else? Like fucking, how she breastfeeds? Well, she's already got a man. <laughs> There's already a baby in the picture. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I feel like guys are triggered by... I feel like it's opposite. Guys are heavily, like, as attracted it, by looks. I think it starts with looks, but then it elevates based on other qualities. Like, like you, a lot of people work with somebody, and they're like, yeah, she's cool, she's dope, and then you, like, get to know her, and you're like, work, her what personality do you call it? is... Work, you call it something. Work wife, work husband. Mm. When you work with someone and just, like... I don't remember what... We had the same conversation. It's the same oh, thing yeah, as, like, yeah, beer yeah. goggles, where you're, like, you get these work goggles where you see Deborah every mm-hmm. Monday, and then after week four, you're like, Deborah's got Bad. <laughs> yeah, and then you see them in their normal clothes out on the street. And oh you're my like, god! What the fuck? You're well, there's like, also I'm a thing <gasps> like if she wears like corporate clothes and she's still like hot as fuck in that, you're like, imagine this on the weekends. Mm-hmm. Like if you got ass in in a in a suit like like the mm-hmm. the little, little pants suit or whatever, you got cakes. You got cakes. You got cakes. Go so it's those little things. You know, you start with like at least I think a lot of guys start with looks and then build up on top of that of, of like personality or like how nice or yeah. whatever caring that might be. So. Yeah, I feel that. Have you ever dated someone that you've worked with? I was just about to ask you that. Um, no, I haven't. I yeah. have bartending. Really? Like bartending is just like it's just a restaurants. Everyone in restaurants. It's true. Well, bartending is like a reality show. Like it's just like it's just how it is. You guys spend every night bar, together. It's high. It's high volume. You're just fucking slanging drinks, and then you just like end up drinking a little bit yourself. And next thing you know, you're hooking up in the walk-in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang. Never hooked up in a walk-in. What's a walk-in? Yeah, I don't the know. The walk-in is. freezer where they keep all the- In a freezer? <laughs> That's the worst place you could so hook up with somebody. Chilly. My dick would be so Their small. Their are like- Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Like the shrimp risotto. You're like, That's my penis. And she's like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the worst oh place. I mean, I get it's hot, the but you, you, you'd you have to start outside. Yeah, it's a walk-in, though. It's like a huge- It's like a walk-in could be as big as this room. Yeah, that doesn't make it any colder. And me and Trevor were like- Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're yeah. like, what the fuck is a walk-in? <laughs> but it's still just as cold as if it wasn't a walk-in, you know? Yeah. You did you start outside, then make your way in there? No, because you can't get caught. So you go, you like, oh, I have to go get lemons so or limes in the walk-in. In the freezer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they keep it cold. Them? Guys, stop judging. Okay, you got <laughs> choked. Don't I even. I got choked. I got choked in a walk-in. And you actually. fucked before the first date. First I mean, date. Say that. Creations, crustaceans. <laughs> Creations. Creation is a smoothie place. I stand Creation. corrected. I'm gonna go hook up in a walk-in. Right after this. So we're going to wrap with the word of the day. Word of the Oh, okay. So it's the shag mag word of the day. It's sexual, of course. Uh-oh. We're just sexual beings here on the shit show. Um, we may get back a guess of the meaning, but feel free to guess as well. Okay. You guess it first this time. Sporking. Oh, boy. Word of the so day. Sounds like spooning, but with forking. I think it's fucking worse spooning. Mm, close. Close. Any guesses for sporking? Sporking, um, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I was gonna say. It's close. I mean, it's it's really close. Like, Damn. are you are you not fucking? You're not fucking. It's spooning with an erection. Oh, oh. So I believe the term for that like, is horny. Is it left in yes. there? <laughs> no. Like just chilling. It's a back. Yeah, you. It's everyone's in the bun, definitely in the sparked. sporked. 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 Oh, Have oh, you yeah. sporked? Have you sure. sporked? Yeah. That's like when you're like dating somebody back when you're like both in high school and you're just like, 
I'm too nervous to make a move, and my dad's in the kitchen, and we're watching Homeward Bound, you know, and you just like, like, don't know what to do. I don't know. I feel like I even spork as an adult. Like, there's... Yeah, I, I mean, like spork. I was like, you know, when you, like, back it up. I was about to say. Just, it's never an accident. You guys know what you're doing. You guys know what you're doing. It's never an accident. If a girl flips and backs it up close to you, she's not trying to cuddle. Oh, I'm trying she's trying to, to cuddle. Spork. I'm just trying to... She's yeah. trying to more than sport. She's, she's trying to start trying with sporking spork. and go into not sporking. 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 Yeah, exactly. Dang, yeah. you guys know what you're doing that. back there. Yeah. Spoon and Throw it in fork. reverse. What do you think a girl's trying to do when she's trying to back it up? You think she's just trying to I don't know. You hook up in you? freezers. Maybe she wants to get warmer. You know, it's fucking, she's hyperventilating out here. It's 13 degrees in the freezer. You know what, Trevor? <laughs> we're going to fight after this. We're going to go In a freezer. Yeah, we're going to go fight in the walk-in. All right. Tell people where they can find you, Trevor. Uh, Trevor Wallace on all this stuff. When does this come out, by the way? No, no, soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday. This Thursday? Okay, this weekend on Saturday, I'm doing a live uh, broadcast so virtual stand-up comedy show. Go to trevorwallscomedy.com for tickets. It's just broadcasting everywhere. It's going to be really dope and a shot on a bunch of cameras, and it's going to look really cool like a Netflix special. So go to trevorwallscomedy.com if this you Saturday? want to. This Saturday, yeah. 10-22. So, 24. 10, 24. So other than that, just Trevor Wallace on uh, everything, and uh, yeah. Are you going to talk about me. queefing? I could do that. That's a deal. Talk about queefing. Remind them what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Use the word oof. Tell us if you ever fucking sporked because we want to know. Oof, oof. Oof, oof. And And remember to choke on the sides. (laughs) Be safe. Remember to choke on the sides. All right, we're out. Let's do it.